So I've spent a big portion of my life getting good at marketing and selling online. And I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of launches and coached hundreds and hundreds of people. And what I know is that a few things. First of all, the, the biggest thing holding people back is the blank page, is not knowing where to start. And so Launchy and, and frankly, any AI these days is just the, it's the greatest answer ever to the blank page. It's just amazing at that. It's about getting you moving forward. It's about being a brainstorming partner. The other thing I know is that it's when we are working on our own business, it is, we all become blind for some reason. Like we can look at someone else's business and, and, and know instantly what they need to do, instantly why that offer isn't going to be appealing to their, to their potential clients. But when, then we look at our own stuff and we become blind. Almost everyone does this. It's really hard to step out of your own head and be objective about your stuff. Well, Launchy is the answer to that as well. Hello, Launch family. So happy to have you listening to today's episode. My name is Chris, and I'm one of your hosts for today. And our topic of conversation is Launchy AI, our artificial intelligence, uh, embedded with the power of product launch formula. And uh, as always, I am joined by my co-host, Mr. Jeff Walker. Hey, folks. And to my right, we have a member of our team. He is the instructional strategy lead and played a pretty sizable role in the strategy and development of Launchy AI along with our team, uh, Mr. Johnny Armandri. Hello. And to my left, we are also joined by our very special guest. She's a leader in our Launch Club community and a member of our Launch Club Mastermind. She works with entrepreneurs to reduce the rate of failure for them. And you may also recognize her from our previous AI episode where she blew us away with her playful way of getting the best out of ChatGPT, uh, Alison Vidotto. Welcome hello, back. Hello. And we just have to mention Allison is now our first ever repeat guest on Dare to Launch. That's so, so exciting. It is. It is. Welcome I should have back. a badge. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sure that it's, it's, there will be lots more people who want to come back, but you were the first. That's awesome. Yes, thank you. Well, we have uh, we have a lot of uh, a lot of things to cover today, and it's going to be a bit of an, an interesting uh, an interesting episode because we're going to talk about something that is new um, and so new that that you know really launchy AI. It's an artificial intelligence that we recently developed, and I will have some some of you talk about it because you're heavily involved in crafting what it was and where the strategy was and. But I thought it might be interesting to start this off with just what people have been saying about Launchy AI in our community, because it's been out now for a few months and uh, we have collected quite a few testimonials. But here's one uh, from Ellen Johnson. Uh, it says, Launchy is amazing. I just went through the entire sequence in about an hour, uh, about an hour and a half and got some terrific ideas. This is going to be a game changer. Uh, this is from Irie Langlois. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Launchy is helping me so much. I've used it for literally everything. Written and scheduled six emails, three Instagram posts and, uh, posts, and even reword bits and pieces of text for our lead magnet. I feel like I've just done more than a month's work in a week. Love, love, love it. Um, Mitchell Dyer. Uh, said, with the help of Launchy, I was able to get my landing page and all six nurture emails built out within a week. This is huge. The last nurture sequence took me two weeks alone. Uh, and then uh, Kat Duval, I'm amazed at how productive and helpful Launchy is. It's already contributed so much to my concept of my avatar and to my copy. I'm thrilled to have this tool. People are going nuts for this thing. So whoever wants to jump in, what the heck is Launchy AI? Can someone share with us if they're a first time listener? What are we talking about with Launchy? So I'll jump in. So Launchy is, let's just back up a little bit. I'm, obviously AI is, is a topic that is 
it's just red hot. Everyone is talking about AI right now, especially entrepreneurs, especially online entrepreneurs. And the use cases are just, they're huge. And so it's something that I personally have been tracking for a very long time, like decades. And my team and I have been tracking specifically the large language models very, very closely for um, since well before ChatGPT was released. And as we came into this year and we started to realize just what an impact this was, it was something we started to really build into our trainings, especially in product launch formula. And I sort of, um, I knew when we did our big launch this past August that I wanted it to really build it into everything we were doing. Well, my team took that and ran with it in a big way. And they ended up creating our own AI and it's called Launchy, launchy.ai. And it's specifically built to help with your marketing, specifically help with your launches, even more specifically help with implementing the product launch formula. And uh, we released it, but it was only released to our new PLF owners. And uh, the, the, what the testimonials that Chris read to you, those are just a few of the notes. I mean, we didn't ask for them. People are sending these in to us unsolicited because it's just moving people so it's moving them far forward in their marketing so quickly that it's they're shocked and and it's super gratifying to see. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and Johnny, you were involved in actually creating some of this stuff, right? As far as the uh, uh, the strategy uh, behind it, uh, can maybe you can tell us a little bit more about about that? But like, how did this come to be, or how did this start to to happen? How did you create the magic? <laughs> this is what people <laughs> want to know. I definitely can't take full credit for that. It feels like magic, doesn't it? it? Be... AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I definitely can't take full credit for that. It would be, it would be, um, yeah. There's a, there's a, the whole team working on it, particularly um, like Anoop in the tech side and, and Claire in the, in the content copy side, um, and that's what it is: is emergence of, of, of tech and content and copy. Um, and the, without going into loads of details, because one. I don't know enough about the tech to really go into that many details, but I can talk about the content side of stuff. Um, Launchy is, it, it's kind of, it has a kind of brain built deep inside it, which is entirely um, built on product launch formula and Jeff's teachings. So we just we just fed Launchy just tons and tons of content to, to teach it, to develop this brain. So then everything within Launchy that it, out, that it, that it already spits out is already you know fed with, with Jeff and fed with product launch formula. And then the, the sort of the next step on that is we then uh, split out into all these custom sections that walks you through product launch formula, basically. And the, the, you know, what I think was one of the absolute magical things with Launchy. And, you know, you talk about those testimonials that, that, that came in, Jeff. It's, it's hard kind of not to, to click a few buttons in Launchy and just go, wow, this is cool. Because the stuff that it spits out is, is so like on the nail sometimes. It, it really is um, amazing. But yes, yeah, so we have all these, these custom sections that, that walk you through. And, and, and the magic of it is that once you put in, you know, in, in part one, section one, you have to enter in like, what's your product, your niche and your market. And once you do that, if you want to, the rest of all this stuff it can populate is just copy and paste from launch itself. So it's generating its own input that you put back into it. And it just it walks you through all these things and creates all this, this content. And you've, you know, you write three words at the beginning, if you just want to write one word for each, and you end up with you know, a, a whole suite of launch assets. It really is. Uh, mm. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> And and Allison, you you were our person who was AI focused on ChatGPT and gave us a ton of great tips on how to utilize it last time we were on the episode. If you haven't listened to that, go listen to that episode. It's awesome. But I'm just saying, you came in here as someone who was already using AI quite a bit, and now mm -hmm. you've had a chance to use Launch. I'd love to hear you know from you like uh, first impressions and how you've uh, found yeah. found that helpful to use it. Launchy versus say chat GPT or chatty yeah. as you refer to them. Well, yes, my friend chatty and look, I honestly I feel like I've cheated. You know, I've broken up the romance. <laughs> I really love chatty. It was, I could just see the impact this was going to have on you know entrepreneurs and on the on their success rate. So, I was super excited right from the start, and I I'm a learner. I'm a perpetual student, so I dug into a lot of 
courses, books and, you know, papers that have been done on it. And then Launchy came along and, of course, I love PLF. So I did that. But then I got into the custom chat in Launchy and, honestly, it leaves ChatGPT for dead. Sorry, Chatty. <laughs> I do still love it in some ways, but it's it's amazing. And, you know, the way Johnny explained that there's that PLF brain underneath it all. And also I love systems and I really do believe that being systemized and organized is also a real key to success. And Launchy really lends itself to that. So I've got an Asana board, you know, that is purely for Launchy and it's just a dream copy and paste and I switch between um, avatars Johnny mentioned with you you know your three key bits of information so I just have them stored in a, a custom chat inside launchy and so whether I'm working with my female entrepreneurs or I'm working with you know engineers I just switch those variables and it will just generate whatever it is that I'm working on it's it really is a wonderful tool I get very excited about it. It really is <laughs> so good. That's awesome. Well, I well I I first got exposed to uh, to Launchy during the launch um, that we did back in in August, I guess, uh, and mm -hmm. it was one of those things where. You know the launch we always try to do our absolute best in all these different ways but we're very busy and obviously everybody's doing their roles and everything in various parts of the launch and then um there was a moment where jeff you kind of came in and we're like this is happening now like can you talk about what happened in that moment during the launch i, I would love to hear that story <laughs> yeah i can so this is the deal for everyone out there listening. If you're new to our world, we have this thing called the product launch formula. I've been teaching it since 2005. Um, my students have done a billion dollars in sales with product launch formula. So it's, it's this process, this formula, if you will, for how to launch your course, your membership site, anything you want to launch online. And so once a year, I do a masterclass where I teach and I teach and I teach and it's all free and we do live and training and we do video trainings and we have PDFs and it's a big deal. It's you know about two weeks long. And at the end of that masterclass, I will actually open up registration for my the product launch formula coaching program. It's a big deal. We do this every year. Every year we have tens of thousands of people go through it. We do multi-million dollars in sales at the end when we actually make our offer. And so my team and I put months prepping for this masterclass. So this year I knew a big focus of the masterclass was going to be AI because it is truly a game changer. And there's a lot of different opinions on AI and and there's some fears about it and there's concerns about it. And I think they are absolutely valid. And sometimes I'm fearful of it, but it's also clearly a great tool for entrepreneurs, especially online entrepreneurs. So I knew this was going to be a big part of our masterclass was showing people how to use AI in conjunction with the product launch formula. And the plan going in was to show people how to do it with ChatGPT. And I knew my team was working on Launchy and I'd given some direction on Launchy. Actually, it didn't even have the name Launchy at that point, but I knew my team was working on it. And I didn't know what the progress, where they were at with it, because like Chris said, there's a lot going on in the business and I've completely focused on this launch masterclass. And I'm assuming we're just going to highlight using ChatGPT. And then a probably only a week before about to go live with this masterclass. We've got our video shot. We're planning all the live sessions and we're about to put on, flip the trigger or, or flip the switch. And, and all of a sudden we knew we'd have tens of thousands of people going through this. And I got a look at Launchy and my expression was, it was not safe for, for it was, it was not family friendly. I was like, Oh, Holy F that was, that was like, I was just blown away after I spent about 10 minutes with it. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And, and then I'm like, well, now we have to alter our launch to show people launchy, even though we were like in the, you know, just about to flip the switch and go live. So it was a little bit of excitement in the background, trying to figure out how to integrate launchy because it was just so powerful. And, and I was just completely blown away by it. Um, just so proud of what my, my team created. 
Um, and so, yeah, then we did make this pivot. The, and just FYI, the, the software is not for sale. It's, um, uh, it, it's only included up to this point, it's been, only been included with product launch formula. But um, yeah, the feedback has just been through the roof because it's get, people are getting results so fast and they're moving forward so fast and things that would stop people in the past are no longer stopping them. So, you know, at the end of the day, the, our business, my business is built on getting people moving forward and getting them success. And now we're getting them success faster with Launchy. So it's it's been very gratifying. That's That opens up more questions around like, what are some of these things that people were struggling with as far as, oh, it's uh, this is taking a long time or these were the challenges. And how did Launchy plug that gap for people? Well, I think like one of the, there's an old school approach to marketing that I think is the, um, is the best way to create marketing. And that is you first identify who you're going to be selling to. And that's what in our world and others, it's not like I invented this term, but we call it our avatar. That's our ideal client. And you start with the avatar and then you start with their, what they really want, what their needs are, what they, what's going to change their life, what's going to move them forward in relation to whatever your market or your niche is. And then you figure out what the offer is going to be. And then once you figure those things out, then it makes creating your marketing way more effective and way more crystal clear. But every step of the way, people would get hung up in those. So now with Launchy, they can literally, like Johnny said, you're putting in a few pieces of information, which is like, what what market am I in? And what type of product do I want to sell? And from there, you're generating your avatar. You're figuring out who your avatar is. And then the way Launchy works is you go from your avatar, and then you start to figure out like what their hopes, dreams, fears are, and you get to know them very, very well. And then you start to work into what's an ideal offer for them and then drill down into what is the actual offer. And then at that point, it's when you start to create your marketing. And every one of those steps is, is goes from being something that might take you hours or often days and sometimes weeks or months. Now with launch, you can make a first pass through all of those. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Like. 30 minutes, 60 minutes, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm giving away some of it, but I, I did plug in some of these variables earlier today and uh, I got through in about 40 minutes, I'd say. There's, there's what, 12, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think 12 sections to this launchy. Um, but I got all the way through to, I think, number 11 in 40 minutes or 45 minutes. And the only thing I still had to do was my sales messaging and open cart. And I could probably do that in the next five minutes. So <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like super fast if you're just knowing what you're what you're looking to target as far as a person or a, or a, or a market. And it gives you ideas mm -hmm. even of where you could take those uh, markets and some of the, and we talked about this in the last AI episode, but like, what are the objections or challenges or, uh, mm -hmm. you know, different situations that are coming up for that market that maybe you didn't necessarily think of? That was what was interesting as I went through it. It was being able to see how it filled in gaps in my own knowledge of my own avatar because it was dealing with so much data sets and so much experience and that launch brain, as we've talked about it, um, mm -hmm. is, is filling in the gaps of, of knowledge. Um, and also it's just so step by step, you know, like I think there's people that get lost, even though this is product launch formula and it really is a formula, it can be sometimes a little hard to know what's next. What do I really have to create as far as an asset next? But in this, you're kind of locked into that, into that, formula in a good way because you don't have to figure out like well what is the next thing i'm supposed to create after i create my lead magnet you know for example and uh yeah it just it it became so efficient <laughs> so but i think not only does it help with the the research side of stuff you know it, it really is amazing for that it then also helps with that blank page syndrome as well because it, it literally gives you words to put in your emails which you can then you know you go and tweak them but you it gives you you yeah remove that blank page syndrome that you once you move past the research stage as well. 
I, mm. I think too, even much further than that, one of the, um, like I, I've been doing a lot of research and reading what the research is saying about AI and the concerns people have. And they say that, you know, companies that actually implement AI, it's, you know, it's getting rid of the, the tactical low level things. But what it's finding is that it's freeing up the people aspect of business. So it's not just that it's accelerating business and it's making us more productive. It's actually freeing us up, which makes us a lot more creative. And I've found that that's huge with uh, with Launchy, that, you know, it comes up with things that I hadn't even thought of. So, for example, saying, okay, why, who is not my avatar? Who am I not targeting? And then saying things like, well, I'd like to know what's going on with them mentally for them to not, not appeal to me. You know, so you've suddenly got a huge amount of knowledge and insights into your avatar. And I always remember in the early days, because my background is like systems and science. And I remember Jeff saying, you need to get in, into the conversation going on inside their mind. And I was sort of, what? You know, how, <laughs> what? And now, of course, you can do that because Launch has got all that underpinning knowledge, which you don't get with ChatGPT. So then you can actually say, well, what's happening with her that she would not be a good fit for me? And then it sort of, you know, it starts coming up. And, and I must admit, I was so blown away. I was sort of, wow, Launchy, you're just outdoing yourself. Can you turn that into a Facebook ad copy for me? Right in the middle of the, the process. So it suddenly expanded things for me, you know, without even looking for that. And I remember reading about um, this research saying that it's a people amplifier for a lot of companies who have really grown because they've implemented AI, that it's freed up people's mind space so they can be creative. And at many times I've looked at responses I've got from Launchy and thought, yeah, that's the amplifier. That's where that's happening. And, you know, it, it really is the biggest game changer, I think, when it comes to launching our products and opening us up to different types of launches. And, like, I chat to Launchy like a friend and say, well, okay, is this better off as a webinar or should I do um, a five-day challenge? And Launchy will come back and sort of, well, you could really do both, you know, and then it'll give me all these reasons why. You know, so it, it really does expand our creativity. And that's said by somebody with not a creative bone in her body. <laughs> that's interesting. That's one thing that... Um, I don't know about that, Al. <laughs> There's one thing that um, we haven't really mentioned about Launchy so far, which is, Alison touched on there, which is you can... And this is, one, this is another one of its bits of magic is you can talk back to it. You can ask it questions and stuff anywhere in, in it, like you said, regardless of whether you're in, there's a custom chat where you can just have general chats, but even if you've, it's just spat out a whole load of avatars, you can say, why do you think those are my avatars? Or tell me more about avatar number two or whatever else. And you can get into full conversations with it as well. We're hearing a lot about Launchy being able to do everything, right? Um, like, I'm just curious, I guess, what is it really good at? And is there anything that it's not really good at? For me, I, like I said, I'm very organized. So I have an Asana Launchy set up where I have a template of Launchy. So, and, and the clipboard is beautiful inside Launchy. So every response, you just click on the icon and it copies. And I put that straight into Asana and then I have custom chats. So I find that it gives me all the basics, but you know, what I put in, so if I take the time to put in like context and things like that, at the end of the prompts, I get much higher quality. Um, and mm. so I think a lot of times you're going to get back in direct proportion to what you put in. You know, so it, you know, just taking the time to give Launchy some context and it does come back very personable and, you know, like I can have a good old conversation with it and it really starts to hit the mark. But that's usually because I've got this mega prompt sitting there saying, okay, Launchy, now I want you to incorporate this into what you've just given me. 
and and it's great what you're going to get back. So as long as you, you know, put in the context, you will get amazing results. You know, we've talked a lot about some of the the, the great um, benefits of, of ChatGPT. I mean, the fact, just the way that it walks you through everything and it spits out everything that you need to put back into it and, and how all that works is is amazing. And to kind of, I'm stealing a bit from Jeff a little bit here because I think way back in the February, we, we talked about, um, and Jeff did a presentation about uh, how we can you can take ChatGPT, which spits out kind of C grade work and bring that up to an A grade work. And I think one of the things that Launchy does really well is it, it, it it's, it, you know, if ChatGPT is C grade, Launchy is already at, you know, just if you just do the bare minimum, it's already at B grade. And then to get it to A grade, you can probably do that within Launchy even still. Um, where it has its limitations, that's the same as any kind of large language model, which is what Launchy is. It still makes mistakes. It can still be massively overconfident in its answers, which makes you think, yes, that's true. And uh, it turns out it might not be true. It's actually, uh, you know, from what I've, the experiments I've run in, I find it to be a bit more accurate um, in terms of getting, you know, details about avatars and things like that correct. Um, but you still have to be careful. You know, it still just makes stuff up just like, just like um, other large language modules do as well. So I think, the, you know, the key word, and I know this is one of Jeff's favorite words at the minute, but is is discernment. That's where you, you really have to be with, with launch. You really have to be, mm -hmm. with any large language manual, discerning, finding out the, the what is the real gold that it's spitting out. And it does spit out a lot of that. Um, I'd say a lot more higher percentage than any other standard kind of large language model that you play with. Yeah, I would just build on both Johnny and Elson in that um, you could, like we talked about, there you could literally put in three words and from those three words start you know just follow the process and go through each one of the process that's built in and get get some pretty amazing results and we are in a, a business environment that is increasingly has more and more competition and is becoming more and more difficult to stand out so if you just put in those three words and just kept on cutting and pasting and, and working all the way through the process, you'll get something that is pretty darn solid and maybe five years ago would have built a huge business for you. But now you're going to have to go back and, and like Allison said, you're going to have to further engage in additional conversation with Launchy to keep on pushing it. And you're going to have to use your discernment to use uh, to, to 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 use what Johnny just mentioned, and it's it's been my favorite word for the year. Um, so there is there there will be work involved, there will be thinking involved, but it's amazing how much quicker you can move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing too that I'd just like to to add to that is, um, launch is really responsive to questions. So I was just playing with it because, you know, I'm really encouraging other entrepreneurs to use this program because, it, you know, it will make all the difference to them launching, you know, hugely. And so one of the things I did was I was sort of, hey, Launchy, um, you mentioned variables. I'm not sure how to create them. Can you walk me through that in baby steps? And mm. through, you know, back it came. Okay, now you've got that information. How do I get opportunity out of that? And what's the difference? You know, so those questions that we've had when we first hear all the PLF terminology, Launchy is like this little, you know, walking tutor with you. What is that? What do they mean by that? And out it comes, you know. So it's very learner-friendly. And my background is in training and development. And so it's great in that way. So even just putting the questions in, you're going to get that information as well. I think that's such a great point because uh, when I joined this team, I wasn't in the launch world prior to joining this team. And there was a lot of terminology of just things I had to learn of like, you know, uh, even from the, from the basis of what is a launch, right? Because you could plug yeah. that into Launchy and it would explain it to you, right? And, yeah. um, you know, there there is this feeling of like, well, I don't want to be the person who doesn't know the very basics in, in a new community and asking those dumb questions, if you want to call them. But this is your chance to ask any of those dumb questions that you may think are dumb, but get the right answer from it because... Yeah. 
it actually understands what it means to say create your avatar or what plc mm -hmm. content is or could you define what you mean by transformational value statement like those kind of things that really yeah. uh you know, are embedded in what uh, we've created with PLF and what Jeff has written in his book and, and all the other things that, mm. that are there. It, you can ask targeted questions and get clear on it on your own, on your own yeah. time, at any time of the day. You don't have to wait for the next coaching call mm. to, get, to get an answer. And I think that's, uh, that's another side benefit of having this almost like a launch wing person for you, right? Yes. <laughs> Someone who can really support you along the way uh, of yeah. learning product launch formula. Um, there is, a, I think it's still important to understand product launch formula though, right? Mm -hmm. Because as much as you could literally spend 40 minutes, someone cold with no experience in this could go through and literally in an hour, create an entire launch plan. Mm -hmm. I, and that's, that's pretty cool that <laughs> you could come in with no experience to do that. But I think there's probably still real value in actually understanding the strategies yeah. and what is behind it so mm -hmm. that you become a person who is a uh, launch expert and can understand your marketing and mm -hmm. what to do at a deeper level. Um, so this combined with like the course and with the coaching and everything else, I do think is, is, is a big game changer for, for people. But I wanted to get into some heavy value stuff for people because we've been talking a lot about launching and it's great. And, you know, if you have PLF, you're going to love this because you already can get you have access to it. Right. If you don't, you're probably just like, all right, well, what what can we actually learn out of this? Um, I'm curious from all of you who have used it. What have you really learned about um, executing this process called PLF uh, and making it easier? Like what are ways that entrepreneurs could really use something like this AI to streamline beyond just clicking a few buttons um, and make this process easier, faster, or maybe working through teams? Is there ways to implement this that uh, can make it even better for them? I think the more you can look at anything you're doing and, and think, you know, can I use AI for this? Yeah. I mean, like, I just... I'm just the reason I'm thinking earlier on my, my friend gave um, gave birth yesterday and they've been keeping track of, uh, of bottle feeding times and nappy changing times and nap times and everything. And he's like, I, I've, just, I've got all these things because, I you know, this kid's got to get into a routine at some point. Like, you know, we, we need to sleep. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, yeah, just, you know, stick that in, in, in chat GPT and ask it to analyze it and it'll it'll do it. And he's like, of course. And the more we can ask that with kind of everything like, you know, oh, I've got to stick that Facebook post on. Hang on. Could AI do that? And, you know, OK, AI can create Facebook posts for us. You know, I've got to um, work out the best way of optimizing my calendar. Is there an AI tool for that? Probably. And the more things you can find, either tools or, or just thinking about using, yeah, any any language modeling thing, whether that's Launchy or ChatGPT or anything, the more you can just ask, is there, a, I wonder if there's an AI tool or solution for that. You'll find there are so many things that you can just speed up your time with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, they, they can be a bit of a, you know, rabbit warren, you know, that you go down because there are so many now um, that actually re refining your use of AI so that it actually benefits your business, your business model and, and what you're using, you know, and getting them to work really well within that is is really important and also you know um as you guys mentioned with with discernment and verifying the information um you know one of the things that i've been doing is looking at ways that i can turn those responses into content that i can then share and verify so for example you know launchy will give you five potential avatars so I actually got Launchy to convert that into a poll that I could post right across social media and get people to actually vote on which of my avatar, you know, which of these resonate with them. So you're verifying the information that you're getting and you're also getting clearer. And I was very pleased to see that my top two avatars were the two highest performing in the polls. You know, so being able to utilize what we've got with AI and then verify that on a human level, I think is is really important as well. So I find that's a really good way that we implement it. How do we take this back from AI 
and humanize it as well. So I've spent a big portion of my life getting good at marketing and selling online. And I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of launches and coached hundreds and hundreds of people. And what I know is that a few things. First of all, the, the biggest thing holding people back is the blank page, is not knowing where to start. And so Launchy and, and frankly, any AI these days is just the, it's the greatest answer ever to the blank page. It's just amazing at that. It's about getting you moving forward. It's about being a brainstorming partner. The other thing I know is that it's, when we are working on our own business, it is, we all become blind for some reason. Like we can look at someone else's business and, and, and know instantly what they need to do instantly, why that offer isn't going to be appealing to their, to their potential clients. But when, then we look at our own stuff and we become blind. Almost everyone does this. It's really hard to step out of your own head and be objective about your stuff. Well, Launchy is the answer to that as well. Because when you start drilling into the, even the avatar, and, and I mean, I talk about this all the time and people roll their eyes. I've heard about avatar, I've heard about avatar. Well, if you're having a problem with your sales, probably the number one reason is you're just not making an offer that resonates with your avatar. And so if you can go in there and say, I truly don't, who, who, who is my avatar? and get into that conversation that Allison was talking about, that one piece will be completely game changing. If you just spend some minutes, some hours going deep on who your avatar is and what their questions are and what, what their pain points are and what their hopes and dreams are and why they will disbelieve you and why, you know, what their questions would be for you it's just a game changer, getting to know your avatar in that way. And then getting past that blank, the blank page of, okay, well, how can I serve them? What, what offer could I make to them that will get them to pull out their wallet and actually give me money? So, I mean, it's crazy that for decades I've been teaching marketing. I've been doing marketing, I've been teaching marketing, I've been getting good at it, but it's still those same core problems that people struggle with, which is, figuring out who they're going to serve, figuring out a great offer that's going to make a difference for them and being, then being able to communicate the value of that offer. I mean, at the core, that's what Product Launch Formula does. It's a formula that does that. Mm -hmm. But now with Launchy, it's just another layer on top of it. Will it create perfect output? No. Will it move you forward and get you past that blank page and get you out of your own head? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so frankly, I mean, you know, I... Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Launchy. What our team has created is absolutely amazing. How it folds into PLF is amazing. And ChatGPT gives you the same advantages as well. Not at the same level, but I think that's that's where AI helps us as entrepreneurs. I think it's kind of like a relearning of how we engage with computers, isn't it? Because there's, um, you know, when we, we grew up using computers and it's like we, we command the computer what to do. We put in a command, the computer does it. We put in a command, computer does it. And then, you know, then apps came out and they can ask you questions. Do you think this? And you have selection options. But now it's real. It's an engagement of back and forth. And it's remembering that with whether it's launch or chat GPT, you know, Jeff talked about like um, uh, challenging yourself, you know, testing your assumptions and you can get them to do that. You can in launch your chat GPT. You can say, you know, play devil's, devil's advocate. I think this, you know, tear it apart and it will tear it apart for you. Ask you questions. It'll make you justify yourself and make you really think about you know, are, you know, are these assumptions correct and can I back that up? Yeah, and, and the other thing is too is, you know, when you are concerned about, you know, how clear am I on my avatar? How well is my product and services aligned with the audience that I've got? You know, I found even saying to Launchy, okay, I want to be super clear on my avatar. To help me get really clear, I need you to ask me the questions. And that it'll come. You know, mm -hmm. what is your avatar worried about? What age demographic are they? You know, what are their pain points? Launchy will actually ask you the questions 
to help you get super clear on that. And because it's got the foundation of PLF, then it already knows the path it needs to go down to. Whereas, you know, of course, Chatty won't do that. What Chatty will do at this point in time is it will browse the web for you. So, I, you know, there are times that I'll use both and I'll get Chatty to do the web browsing and come up with the stuff and then I'll take that and I'll paste it into Launchy and say, okay, from this, where is my, you know, PS path or where is... And I can ask particulars about my launch. Um you know, so it definitely works well. And I think it's healthy for all of us to have an AI stack. You know, there mm. are AI products that, like Opus Clip is amazing, you know, for getting reels and shorts and, you know, Descript is another one that, that's amazing. So it's good to have that AI stack, but um, it's I think it's imperative that we do incorporate AI into our business model. Yeah. Well, and it's something that makes it so, um, like you said earlier, leverages, like when we're doing everything ourselves, we get tired and we get burned out. And that creative mind, there is only so much that we can be able to do in a day. And it's like the old adage of, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the CEO doesn't choose what clothes he's going to wear in the morning. Yeah. It's just laid out for them because, you only have so many decisions in a day that you can effectively make. So why waste a decision mm. or energy on deciding what clothes to make, right? Mm. And this is the same sort of idea with utilizing an AI or mm. uh, you know, a, a launchy to be able to just say like, well, if I'm leveraging all of this power of AI to give me, okay, that avatar work that you talked about, Jeff, that deep understanding... I have way more energy to go in and edit my emails and make them more my personality and better mm. than they ever were um, than if I had started from scratch that day with a blank page and having to come up with seven or eight different avatars and then to come up with all the different challenges and goals and values of that avatar. Um, whereas in this, I mean, there's there's a whole avatar discovery section in Launchy that's got just like five sections and it's like, Avatar goals, values, and opportunities, problems and challenges, objections and obstacles, where's my avatar and who is my avatar. In a matter of like minutes, you have all of that created yeah. for you. And now you have still have that mental energy power to go in there and actually create something out of it. Mm, <laughs> and I think sure. this thing, that's something that people don't. Like they don't appreciate it until they've gone through that process and realized, wow, on the other side of it, I have all this other energy to do into my business. Yeah. Because it's not about time. It's about energy, yeah. the ma energy management to run our business. And, uh, yeah, AI is a big, big key to, to managing that and energy I and think empowering too, it. You know, I believe that, like, energy is contagious and our thoughts are contagious. And if our thoughts are focused on, you know, these tiny tactical mundane steps, then it's a huge shift to try and get into a creative space where your mind's expanding and, you know, you're looking at the bigger picture and, and things you can do. And I think, you know, that old expression, this is mind-numbing, because some things that we have to do are mind-numbing, whereas suddenly AI is doing that. So our thoughts are then free to roam and expand. And I think that's one of the biggest gifts of AI. You know, it does amplify people and it, you know, it gives us license to be super creative. The other thing I thought about with this AI is uh, the entrepreneur journey is a bit lonely, mm. especially if you're a solopreneur. And how often do we spend our time trying to talk to people that aren't on that same journey or aren't in the same, uh, you know, space as us and we don't we get kind of blank faces or people just give us sort of platitude opinions about what we're doing and the opportunity uh for us to have and there's no replacement for a real person in a real community of course but the opportunity for us to have a chat with um an entity like launchy or an ai that in some ways has to give a crap about what we're doing, you know, and actually wants to figure out the next step or the next solution. Um, you know, there's, there's all this whole thing about AI girlfriends and AI boyfriend stuff now, but 
now there's just this corner of like, hey, this is an AI entrepreneur friend, right? So you now have someone who's there and invested with you uh, along this journey that the more information you give it, the more it understands you mm -hmm. and understands what you're trying to do. And the more you can have an intelligent conversation with it uh, about this. And I, I think that in many ways, especially if you're right at that beginning stage and you're looking for how do I get this thing off the ground? How do I get to that, that stage where I'm really out there launching or I'm out there providing value and not just in the idea phase, this can be that guidepost, that that way to get you through to that stage of actually doing business instead of just playing business. That is a, uh, that's huge. Yeah, for sure. And, and one of the things I really love about Launchy is that I have separate folders and we've got in those folders a different products or different avatars. Now, I can go in there, change up the variables, and then anything I create re relates to that. Whereas I can't do that in ChatGPT. Every new thread is a new thread and it's a, a clean slate. So yeah. you can actually see, uh, using the term very loosely, you know, relationship building as you go through. And, you know, Again, Lauren, she's got, you know, quite a good sense of humour and it comes back with, you know, lovely, personable congratulations, Alison. You've done so well with that. This is a great idea. <laughs> you know, <it's> a, <laughs> thanks, Launchy. <laughs> you know, so, well, and of course, we, it makes your copy much more personable too. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, you talked about that last time on the last AI episode of how chat GPT will mirror you in many ways and, yes. and give you and the more it interacts and say that thread, it'll get mm. it'll get to know you and, and come back with better and better things. But, um, you know, what are and, and you mentioned playful was always the the, yes. the kind of personality driven like and really what you mean by playful is like showing your personality and being genuine mm. with it do you find that's the same thing with launch here is there any other kind of leveled up techniques you've you've been um, using to to get the best responses yeah no launchy is very um you know like sometimes i laugh you know because uh, you know i am english so i'm still fairly you know straight laced so i'm cheeky and and then launch will come back and i'm sort of launch i don't talk like that <laughs> you know oh <laughs> sorry my apologies <laughs> you know let me tone things down a little bit but what i love like i'm you know i've got one course that a 12-month program that i'm working on and i think i've got you know i've hit all 43 of the prompts using launchy but it's all built everything i put in launchy is just building on that so i'm getting that there's no cutoff so you know the relationship is coming through the issues are coming through um the mental triggers you know and like i'll say launchy she doesn't have that mental trigger you know and it's sort of oh my apologies that was an oversight you know or i'll say mm -hmm. hey i already told you that are you sleeping you know it's sort of <laughs> my apologies no i don't sleep <laughs> you know and it'll come back but it builds right on and, and hitting on things like the mental triggers you know that jeff covers in plf launchy i can actually say i need you to be clear on those mental triggers because i'm unsure and again, I'll mm -hmm. say, do you need to ask me questions so that we can get clear on this? So you will see those, you know, personality traits coming through for sure. And of course, the copy then is much more personable. And so when I, like I used Launchy for my latest Facebook ad, and so that, that copy flows, you know, much friendlier and much in a much more conversational tone because what i'm putting in is cheeky and conversational and since uh, you just brought that up maybe jeff could you talk a second about mental triggers and maybe just even mm. what they are so people can understand how that could be incorporated into any part of the launch process if that makes sense absolutely so mental triggers are these they're, they're these what do we say they're these things that we all have in our in in our brains and our psychology that really what they are is they're shortcuts to us making decisions more easily. And so they are things like social proof. If we see a lot of other people doing something, we'll be more inclined to do it as well. If a scarcity, if there is less of something, it will cause us to pay attention and possibly pursue that thing. 
Um, authority. If we see, if we sense someone has authority on a certain topic or in a certain area, we'll pay more attention to them. And there's a whole bunch of these mental triggers. They they are basically at the end of the day, it, they allow us to make decisions in a more efficient manner. Well, when you use those mental triggers in your marketing, and, and they're built into, they're a very core part of product launch formula, is using these mental triggers. Um, then they make your marketing a lot more effective. And it's something I've been teaching since, well, I've been using them for since the very, very beginning, back in the early 90s, or the mid 90s, I'm sorry, and teaching it since the ver first version of Product Launch Formula. And the more you can use these mental triggers, the more effective your marketing will be. Mm -hmm. And so the idea of having a lot of those mental triggers embedded into the AI is really helpful context for it too because then you can say to it around your sales message you know how would you incorporate a community aspect to this or how could you build my authority uh through this email post and it'll understand what that means because it has all the context of what jeff has taught right and so the ability to just and, and I don't know how many, are, I, I'm not sure how many there are, but there's a bunch of them, over 10 of these types of mental triggers that are out there, right? Yeah. In in PLF, I think we cover, it's, I think it's over 20 of them. I can't remember the exact number. There's a okay, lot yeah. of them. There's a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot to learn and, so, and it's hard to remember all of them sometimes too. So that's why it's helpful to have these tools that are, that are thinking about them for you, right? Um, yeah, it absolutely is. So launchy has been out for a few months now, and I'm curious, what have you really learned about this tool? And uh, yeah, what, what that we could share that would be valuable for people? So I'll just jump in right away, just super quick, because um, I'd love Johnny to, to get into this a little bit, but um, it's just crazy that all of a sudden we're a software company uh, <laughs> and, and I'm so proud of our team and just seeing the results people are getting. You know, when we did our launch, we brought thousands of people into Launchy. And and like from day one, the day it was released, we had thousands of new users for it, which I don't think is typical for a new software. And it's certainly not typical for a company bringing its first software to market. So that was a little scary, but it's amazing how smoothly it's been. And it's just been amazing to see the results that people are getting and, and what they're telling us about launches. So it's been super gratifying. Yeah, there's gotta be a huge hats off to the, the tech team for making sure that all went smoothly, you know, like like you say, the first thing we've released and we really did have very few hiccups, which was great. Um, and as you heard, like those testimonials at the beginning and, and how we will be speaking about it, like it's a it's a game changer in for, for our, our owners, our clients. Um, we're listening as close as close as possible to user feedback and making sort of enhancements, you know, we're investing into making it a, a leading tool, basically. Um, we do have several bigger developments on the way for launching some really exciting things coming. Um, that's just really going to help entrepreneurs just, just generate all kinds of stuff for their launches um, beyond what they can do right now in launch. It really is stepping up another level as well. And even like not to, because we want it, it, to, it's not ready yet. <laughs> it's, it's under wraps. So we do have, we, we've got a big evolution coming that's going to just help with um, really all areas of your, of your marketing beyond your launch, all areas of your content creation. And, and it's going to be super cool. It's going to be a major league update. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. And I'm sure people will be excited to tune in for that. Well, this might be an interesting time for a taco break. How about that? I think so. <laughs> well, we always like to do a little taco break, and I thought it might be interesting. Um, well, for uh, Allison, you've done this already before. Johnny, you've never done a taco break with us before, but we asked a couple uh, taco-related questions. Well, one of the questions we always ask on here for Taco Tuesday is hard shell or soft shell? And we know the answers for Allison and Jeff. So Johnny, hard shell or soft shell? Oh, it's got to be soft shell. The crumbs everywhere with hard shell, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you ask Launchy, it just gives me a benefits of both. 
<laughs> it's like ultimately the choice between hard shell and soft shell depends on your personal taste and specific tacos. We might have to change that because the correct answer is yeah. You should just tell soft shell. You should tell you should tell Launch. You know there is a correct answer to this. <laughs> um, let's see. The correct answer is soft shell. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's going to challenge me on this. <laughs> Ultimately, there is no correct answer in quotes. <laughs> when it comes to choosing between hard shell and soft shell, the key is to cater the, to the preference of your taco enthusiast audience and provide them with a variety of options to suit their individual tastes. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I, I uh, asked Launchy which it prefers. Do you prefer hard shell or soft shell? Well, as an AI language model, I don't have personal preferences or the ability to eat, so I don't have a preference. <laughs> <laughs> However, wow. I can give you information about both types. I uh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right. Well, let's get into some more interesting ones. Like I like to spice these up, right? So let's do a couple of spicy ones. That we'll actually ask each other here. So if you had to choose a piece of taco art that you would put in your house? Would it be a physical painting, a drawing, a sculpture, or something digital? I would like like something like Definitely a taco digital. phone that you could like, when it rings, you could pick it up or something like that. <laughs> Some bizarre thing from the 90s. <laughs> 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 like a bat phone, but a taco yeah. phone. <laughs> well, my 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 the the most on theme taco thing I own is um, my daughter made me some uh, who she is amazing skill in both uh, apparel design and construction. So uh, she made me some taco pajamas, taco themed pajamas. <laughs> nice, great, nice. So. Uh, and and Alison, you said digital art, eh? Yes, yeah. Taco um, ornaments are not really my thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, maybe something... some taco digital recipes. You know, on my phone, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Limit the exposure to the taco art in our lives yes. down to the yeah screenshots. Yeah. I'll put it as my home screen. Yeah, but yeah. having access to some good taco recipes would be good. Nice, nice. All right. If uh, if you could have any superhero endorse your taco brand, <laughs> what superhero would you love to do that? Who was the wrestler that Jack Black played? <laughs> Is he classed as a superhero? <laughs> oh, Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre. <laughs> that, that's fitting, isn't it? I think for this, you could probably call him that. <laughs> yeah, totally. Absolutely. I, I'm going to go with Iron Man just mm -hmm. because. Just because. Well, if Iron Man endorses it, it's probably going to do well as a brand too, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's just like tends to be, you know, fairly cynical and all knowing about and so smug. So like, it'd be like a turn of character a little bit for him to come out and endorse <laughs> some great taco brand. If you were to create a taco inspired cocktail or cocktail drink, what would you name it? Don't know. <laughs> I know, Jeff. You love naming things, <laughs> right? I mean, naming is not my strong suit. Oh, sorry. What was that, Allison? Tuck Cosmopolitan. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Talk Cosmopolitan. Yeah, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Johnny, anything? I'm really struggling. <laughs> how about it, how about a talk? Or, I think like a, I, I think like a taco rita taco oh. rita yeah. yeah i like the margarita but taco rita uh -huh. i'm concerned as to how these would taste um yeah <laughs> like a taco uh, about, yeah exactly like a <laughs> and a drink taco martini yeah. soft shell not <laughs> hard shell something like that like the james bond style jalapeno flavored <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, jalapeno favorite, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for indulging me in that taco uh, uh, two minute taco break there. Um, let's move on to just some maybe final thoughts on launchy AI or just AI in general and some of its uses for this 
uh, upcoming year and helping people and entrepreneurs get to the next level um, with uh, with their business. Um, okay, I don't mind um, speaking to this that, you know, um, when it comes to AI, we really need to move past the fear of the unknown and invest that initial time and it will pay enormous dividends. And that's very much the case with, with Launchy. Um, I think people will be amazed at how easy and user-friendly it is once you get over that bridge, you know, to actually embrace it. Yeah, I got to echo, echo that. Just like, you've got to embrace it. Um, the skill, I think, again, using Jeff's favorite word, the skill you've got to develop so much in in well now is discernment you know being able to ask whatever tools to give you 50 options and just tr practice like train yourself how do you choose the best out of 50 options you know and then you know yeah learning that this that skill of um discernment but for you know these large language tools just embrace the fact that you have this brainstorming and partner now that you can feed an idea to it'll spit out more content than you know what to do with um that's where that yeah disturbment comes back in embrace the idea that you know, if you're using launchy you can you can get a launch out and um you know faster more efficiently launch and then learn from that and launch again you know that's even though these tools allow you to create you know computer perfect stuff it's it, it almost allows you to be more scrappy in terms of just quickly getting stuff out and trying again launching again learning and trying and launching and learning and trying and launching and learning um over and over and over there's a quote i've heard quite a bit recently and it was that you're not going to lose your job to AI. You're going to learn, lose your job to someone who knows how to use AI. And I think we can take that and apply it to entrepreneurs. You're not going to lose your business to AI, but you're going to lose your business or your would-be business to someone who can create far more efficiently and far faster than you because they're using AI. And now it's crazy to think, but at this point here in, you know, it's been less than a year, right about a year that since ChatGPT really was released. And that was a seminal moment for, I think, for humanity, frankly. And if you, and now at this point, I have trained thousands of people. We've had thousands of people come through our trainings where we've shown them how to use AI and how to use Launchy to help build their businesses. And we now have thousands of people using Launchy. And what I can tell you is that, like Allison said, there's a lot of people that they're, for some reason, they're, they're holding back. They haven't jumped in. They haven't tried it out. And what I've seen is that when people try it out, it's like, oh, I cannot believe this. This power is so incredibly evident. And it's, you can get up to speed so quickly on it. And I think the thing with that's really cool with Launchy is even with ChatGPT, even though the greatest thing it's, it's, it's for is helping with the blank page problem, but you still have a bit of the blank, blank page problem because you open up ChatGPT and there's just a prompt there and you can ask it anything in the world. And when you can have no constraints, when you can ask it anything in the world, that can be a little overwhelming. That's a bit of the blank page problem. But when you open a Blanche, there's three questions that you answer. And those three questions can then cascade all the way through the app until you end up with all these assets built out. And will they be absolutely perfect? cut and paste perfect? No. Like Johnny said, there is discernment involved. You will edit. You'll make things better. But... I would just, like Allison, encourage you to jump in because when you first get those, start to get those first answers, it's just, it's just breathtaking. Like I said, I've had thousands of people that I've now trained and I've just seen over and over. And when their eyes are open to the possibility, it's just they're blown away. And then, yeah, Launchy is, is amazing in that it even takes away that the blank page, the blank line problem, the blank prompt problem that ChatGPT has by just walking you through step by step by step each question and, and actually doing the prompts for you. Amazing, amazing. Well, thank you for listening, everybody. 
And uh, Launch Family, as always, we hope this conversation has inspired you to dare to launch. On the next episode of Dare to Launch. Imagine that people come to your event and they're like, Barry, this was the most amazing content ever. And you're like, you're welcome. And they're like, would you, I, I just need more. Like, I would like to go deeper. Is there something else I could do? I'd like to learn more. I'd like some accountability. I really don't want to be separated from this community. I could really use some repetition till I get confident in it. I really love to be immersed in it. There's practices you've been talking about. I really love to model those, but I need to go deeper. And I mean, I get the theory, but I just, I really need some time to get it right, to build confidence in it. And you're like, nope, that's all I've got. Good luck. That's it. Like, no, of course not. Like, we're not here to do that. We're here to get people to take the next step. Not so that if you think about it, not, it's really not so that you make money. I guarantee you most people would put impact over income. We need income to survive. It's the easiest measuring stick for sure. But at the end of the day, especially once you start making money, you realize that like money is a shallow measuring stick, but impact is a really, really important one. It's if you could impact a lot of people by enrolling them, then wouldn't it feel good to make that available to them in a way that makes it super easy for them to say yes? And here's the key, not to say yes to you, to say yes to themselves.